So Raymond, um, you were at Wimbledon early on in its history from my point of view, mm. 1949 to 53. Mm. That's right. Um, uh, who were the characters that you remember most that were teaching at that time? Oh, well, the principal was Gerald Cooper, who was a very fierce bloke with a beard. <laughs> I, I applied when I was only 15. He said, Tommy, why, why do you want to come to my art school? And I said, uh, well, sir, I, I want to learn to draw in order to become a cartoonist. And I thought he was going to explode. And he said, good God, boy, is that all you want to do? <laughs> and uh, I said, well, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with that, really? But it was the ideal training for somebody like me. Was there a focus on drawing in the... In oh, the yeah. Old, yes, the we class. did. Uh, in the painting class, you did uh, two, two days a week uh, composition, two days a week life drawing and painting, and one day a week still life. Well, that was a smashing training for someone who's going to be an illustrator, and several people from Wimbledon did become illustrators. This was a kind of a moment in British art where, just prior to where it exploded into pop art, wasn't it? It was yes. kind of, it was yeah. in a sort of um, mm. a regurgitation of what it, old art That's rather right, than yes. current art. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you got into your work being published, how that process worked for you. Oh, well, I was always dead worried at art school, but how am I going to earn a living? I didn't start work until I was 23. Hmm. And you thought, for God's sake, if I don't earn a living now, I'm going to look the biggest wally there ever was. So I tried doing everything. The three main fields are, well, first of all, advertising pays the most. Newspapers and magazines as the second field, and third field is books. Then, to my horror, discovered that book illustration meant children's books, for God's sake. Because obviously <laughs> adult books are not illustrated anymore. Now, I've got to ask you about The Snowman, because mm. um, it was a phenomena in this mm. country for sure. I mm. don't, was it as equally big in the States? I think it had, yeah, a, yeah, had yeah, a good ride in the States. Everywhere, really. Did you enjoy the, the way your, your book was transferred to the screen? Oh, yes, was that I think um, brilliantly done. Good, yeah. Oh, yeah, superb, mm -hmm. absolutely superb. Uh, marvellous film, marvellous music, Howard Blake and everything. Terribly good. It's become a huge commercial phenomenon. Do you ever think about that mountains. effect that, that one story's had on virtually the entire yes, it's world? Extraordinary. Yeah, it's extraordinary. Yeah, I do think it's odd. It's not all due to me, it's due to the film, of course. Given you're this kind of... Um, absolute ideal Wimbledon ex-student from my point of view. <laughs> Is there anything that you would, um, any offer, any advice you'd give to our students on leaving um, Wimbledon now in their graduation? Oh God, keep bashing on, bashing on. Don't take any notice of what the teachers say. <laughs> 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 That's dangerous, Raymond. That's dangerous. Um, you display all of the qualities I hope our students have, a kind of perceptiveness, of critical reflection, of being able to sort the weed out for the chaff and think for yourself. So I'm mm. very pleased to have had this conversation because oh, it good. confirms the value of mm. what we, that art school education. How did you feel when you were first um, notified or asked about mm. this honorary fellowship? I was flabbergasted. I just think it's weird. It's like all these things when things that are not have anything similar to that, but I mean, when that kind of thing happens to you, you feel, well, it's not really me. You know, you feel, who is this person they're talking about? Mm. But it's tremendously exciting and a great honour to have this from such a prestigious thing. It's rather breathtaking, really. But I'm very grateful. Thank you very much, folks. <laughs>